Five interesting facts from the ATPL subject air law. Let's go. Fact number one, marshaller signals. When taxiing onto a stand or getting pushed back, it's not always necessary or possible even to be in voice communication with the Grand Crew. That's why there's an internationally known kind of sign language for some common things that you might need, like set parking brakes, chocks removed, or GPU connected. Fact number two, the three phases of emergencies. According to ICAO, the first phase of an emergency is in surfa, or the uncertainty phase. It is used whenever there's uncertainty regarding the safety of an aircraft. Next up then is alerfa or the alert phase and it is used whenever there's apprehension regarding the safety of the aircraft or its occupants. And that leads into the third phase which is the tresfa or the distress phase and it is used when there's quite a certainty that an aircraft is in imminent and grave danger or its passengers are in danger and require immediate assistance. Fact number three, the freedoms of the air. The freedoms of the air were established in 1944 by the Chicago Convention, and they still form the legal basis for most commercial air traffic to this day. The fifth freedom, for example, is one of the better known ones. It allows airlines to operate flights between two foreign countries on a flight originating or ending in their own home country. A common example or a well-known example would be Singapore Airlines flight from Frankfurt to New York or Ethiopian from Oslo to Stockholm. The fifth freedom that is granted to these airlines in these cases allows them to also transport passengers just between those two foreign countries. I also made an in-depth video about all nine freedoms you can check that out somewhere here. Fact number four, aircraft markings. There's rules in everything for aviation. So also for registrations and even the way the registration has to be displayed on an aircraft itself is strictly controlled. There's some combinations that you can't have in, in registration like SOS or triple X or some of the Q codes like Q and H, just to avoid confusion. And you also need to display your registration on the lower surface of the left wing and also on both sides of the fuselage or the vertical stabilizer. And they have to be at least 50 and 30 centimeters tall respectively. Fact number five, squawk codes. Squawk or transponder codes are a four digit number that is usually assigned by ATC in order for them to identify the aircraft on radar. But there's a few special codes that can also transmit an issue. Those would be 7500 for aircraft hijacking, 7600 for radio failure and 7700 for general emergencies. And there's a fairly easy way to remember them. It's 75 man with a knife, 76 we need a fix, and 77 going to heaven. It's not entirely true, but it's very easy to remember it. And that's it for today. Five interesting facts from Air Law. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing, leaving a like. I really do appreciate it. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, as usual, leave a comment down below or send me a message somewhere on social media. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.